the most outstanding Canadian in the CFL is you. As someone who grew up watching the league, what's that mean? It's an honor. You know, this this is the word that I really wanted to win. You know, I've I'm a I'm a true Canadian man, prideful. I'm a proud Winnipegger. So the fact that I've you know been able to walk away with this honor tonight means the world to me. Also looking clean though. Looking mac clean, money green. man. Look, Alexander it's not just McQueen? the money. Green. It's it's Damn. it's tailored. Is what matters. It's super tailored, man. I love the fit, Brady, man. Uh, talk to me about your growth. You mentioned in your speech you talked about Andrew Harris, and uh, obviously having been his, you know, played against him for years and having been his teammate. I saw, you know, what it's like to be a teammate mm -hmm. of Andrew. But talk to me a little bit about the 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 the, the little bit that he kind of left with you and allowed you to kind of grow in the place that you got to today. Yeah, you know, he's he's a great dude. I knew Andrew even before I became his teammate with the Bombers. Uh, we had a friendship before, you know, Winnipeg Small. You know, it was the guy that I looked up to when I was I was young, playing football in Winnipeg, and then having the opportunity to, you know, be his teammate and and sit back as a as a young but hungry kid that was ready to to play, but I had to wait my turn. So that was exactly what I needed for my growth in my career to be able to sit back, learn from a future Hall of Famer, and he's going to go down as one of the best ever to play at that position and. You know, what, what made Andrew so special is his football IQ, and you can probably, being his teammate, understand now his yep. football IQ and how he's able to attack defenses and understand fronts and where the linebackers are going to be going and, and just capitalizing on, on their mistakes. That's one thing that I took from Andrew's game, and now me having such a large role is what I want to do moving forward, continue to build my football IQ and, and try and be as great as I can possibly be. Uh, Touch on this as well, because I think this is something special that not every athlete gets to ever experience, which is to play at home. It's something special about that. And I I would know, having played in different cities and finally coming back to Toronto, what has that been like, man? You left for school and you mm -hmm. come back as a pro. And to have the start to your career, I'm just going to say start, DB, because he's only getting started. But to have the start to your career that you've had at home, how special is that? Dream come true, man. Like, seriously, is a dream come true. Uh, you know, our fans are so incredible week in and week out and, and do such a good job. And um, the the love and support that they show us, not just on the field, but off the field. I'm, I'm telling you, you know, every single day, whether I'm, I'm pumping gas or I'm in the grocery store or I'm at the mall or whatever it is, you know, people come up to me and show love and, and just show their gratefulness and gratitude towards, you know, what we're doing for this organization and for the city. And, you know, for me, that means the world. You know, I think I, I obviously play for my teammates, I play for my coaches, my family, but I play for the city. You know, the reason why I run the way I do is because I have extra motivation that this is my hometown and I want to want to make every Winnipegger, every Manitoban proud. One of the things that I love about young Brady is the fact that you're more than just a football player, right? You stand for so many more things than just the game of football. And I'm going to give you 30 seconds, not more. <laughs> You know what? I'm giving you 20 seconds, Brady. You're a busy man. You got a lot of stuff that you got to do. 20 seconds to talk about those things that you do. Mm -hmm. It's important, man. Uh, the city has given, given so much to me, so I feel like it's my duty to go out and give back. You know, it's, it's the person that I am today. You know, my mantra is, you know, be a good person every single day when no one's watching you. And if you can live by that, good things will come into your life. And I continue to do good in the community because that's just who I am. Well, a lot of people are watching you and are inspired by you and are cheering for you. They're happy you're bringing this back to Winnipeg.